wanted to make a quick video on adjusting the uh, MSD distributor stop bushings with um, the distributor in the car because it's quite a pain to have to pull it out and flip it upside down so I found this method to work pretty well it still took me about 10 minutes to get it but you know with some precision um, you know from doing it time and time again it gets pretty easy um, Anyway, so I had the black stop bushing in there and I wanted to change to my blue stop bushing to get a little more timing now that I can run 93 octane, but anyway, pretty difficult deal, so obviously um, when you take them out they're going to drop out and this is actually magnetic so they have a tendency to stick on that which is good so they don't fall down into places that you can't reach them, but what I like to do is you know, take a little bit of wire, just some old electric fence wire, and I can get in there and, you know, hook the loop on all those pieces. There's a washer, a nut, and a bushing, and loop those out. And sometimes, you know, you have to jiggle um, your advance around here, and the bushing will fall out. Sometimes it's wedged in there. So, um, anyway, the real trick is getting it all back in, and that's what can be pretty painful. Um, get a light here, but what I like to do is turn the engine so there's that little nut, you can see it. So I like to turn the engine so the nut's facing me and it's away from the magnetic pickup so you have a lot of room. And um, what I like to do first is use a smaller wrench, something like um, you know this quarter here where I set the bushing on top of it and I actually use some grease and the bushing sticks right on like it's supposed to um, and then what you can do is because of the grease it'll stick and you slide this in here and you push it right up into the uh, um, right onto the stud and it really helps to um, jiggle your advance mechanism here when you're pushing it up and it'll get up in there and it'll get stuck where then um, you know once you let go the tension of the springs will hold it in there so um, that's the first little bit now the second little bit's pretty interesting getting the nut and the washer back in there is a little bit tricky you're going to want to eventually figure out um, where to kind of set the nut where it screws on but if you don't that's alright now what I like to do is I take a piece of tape, masking tape, and um, the nut is an 11 30 seconds wrench to get to it, and I put that piece of tape under um, the wrench, so it's kind of like that, where the nut can't fall down, and then what I do is I put a little grease on the washer in the top of the nut so it can't um, slide off, and then what I'll end up doing is I, um, this is hard as I'm holding the camera, but if you can conceptualize, I'll take this wrench and put it under here where, um, see if I can get some light where we can see what we're talking about. There we go. So I'll take this wrench, my 11 30 seconds wrench with the nut on it and put it up to the stud. Then I'll take the other little wrench and put it under this wrench in between the magnetic pickup so it um, holds pressure below the nut and then I can slowly screw it on and eventually you know you'll get it to catch and then from there you can just you know go bananas and screw it all the way on and again you want to make sure that stop bushing is all the way up in there um, so this is about how much nut you have sticking down when you're done um, but anyway I just want to do a quick little pointer there because it's pretty tricky um, to get that all set up it's really pretty painful to have to take out the distributor so that's a good way within 10 minutes you should be able to get your stop bushing changed if you have any questions I guess you know shoot me a message and I'll try and talk you through exactly what to do but um, that's pretty much how it's done so um, there you go